Today, we're going to look at Twitter data and how to classify a whole bunch of tweets into a different set of classifications so that we can bring in more insights and more knowledge about trends and what's happening on what an official account is saying or what customers are saying and be able to look at it in a different way that adds more understanding to the data than just a long list or even more understanding than just positive, negative, neutral. Let's see what they're really talking about and what's happening in the digital conversation. So we've got Hawaii, we've got Go Hawaii up here as Hawaii opens up to the world for travel again. Uh, everyone's excited and there's a lot of uh, questions about testing and travel and what's open and all those other things. And this is a great account to follow. They've got uh, some beautiful photography of all the amazing activities out there. And that's something we can look at. So I'm going to take that Wayscript file that I pulled from there and I'll post that link in the video if you want to learn how to pull that data from Wayscript. But we are going to take that and then we're going to open up a new tool called Monkey Learn and we're going to train an AI model to divvy up things across categories that we provide. So let's pause here and hop into Monkey Learn. All right, so go ahead and sign up for a Monkey Learn account. You will get one free model. Uh, they have some built-in ones right here. We're going to go ahead and create a model. And we are going to choose a classifier. So there's two different models here available. One takes some text, and then you set up some tags. So in our case, there are categories uh, that we're talking about. And there's another one where you can extract pieces of data from text. So we're going to use a classifier. We're going to do that. Uh, we already know how to do sentiment analysis. We did that with Wayscript. You can do it here as well. Uh, another variation would be intent classification. So that's pretty great. Also, if you were looking at all those ats, you could see, is this a complaint? Is this a request? Is this feedback? A lot of companies really can't tell the difference between those. You'll see someone creating almost an IT response for something that's actually product feedback. I get that a lot. Like when I provide some feedback on how something should work in a different way, it's not really a ticket to solve instead of uh, some other scenarios. So that's really amazing for how you would divvy that up between uh, product managers and customer service and things like that. But today we're gonna do topic classification. Uh, I have an Excel file ready. So we're going to upload those tweets that I pulled from Wayscript and you can, you know, come up with any other list you have. If you have Instagram data, if you have Facebook data that has that content column. So I have that file already here and that tweet.content is where that full text of the content is there. It's set to discard the first row, which is our column uh, field title. So we don't need that. And we are going to use this column because that's the content. And I'm going to scroll down here to find the continue button going to go ahead and upload that data. All right. So now we need to come up with the tags. So we really need to think through what data we have. Uh, so in that Twitter data and everything that's happening with this account, Try to find where we have our uh, content. So we'll scroll to the top. Here we go. So I'm seeing CVS Health, COVID-19, questions, layovers, things about travel, taxis, uh, quarantine, <laughs> mostly things involving that, accommodations, uh, ferries and some more travel, waterfalls and hikes. That's a big one. So outdoors activities, um, fishing, more outdoors, uh, the aquarium, the Maui Ocean Center, really great one. Uh, EO Valley State Park, that's an excellent hike on Maui and West Maui. Uh, World Reef Day, as a scuba instructor, definitely an awesome one. Protect our reefs and definitely visit them, especially in Hawaii. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff to check out. I think I've got a good idea. So it's a really 
uh, important to have not too many tags and not too few, like enough where you can divvy things up into something where you're going to be able to tell trends. So if I ran this last year and I had something on health and travel, probably wouldn't have much of a trend. So I would uh, definitely uh, scale up uh, this year. So I am actually going to break it up into uh, COVID related outdoors was another theme I saw there. Uh, travel related like shuttles, taxis, layovers, things like that. So I'm going to add that. Um, I'm sure we're going to get a few wedding ones. That's probably good. Now he's a very popular honeymoon destination. I would put all of that in the wedding category, even if it's just a honeymoon. Um, cause this is a, about good. I'm trying to think of what else we could do. Maybe a history is pretty interesting. There's some museums there like on the sugar cane and, uh, the Royal family of Hawaii back in the day and that sort of thing. So a lot of cool stuff there. Uh, so I'm going to go with that. And so now we need to train the model. So the alternative to doing this is just going to an Excel file and adding in the categories. And that's great if you're only doing like 50. Uh, if you are doing 2000, like hopefully it'll let me do as I uh, put in that many tweets for the account. Uh, it's a little bit easier to train it with maybe 50 tags and then it can figure out what the rest are. So that's the power of AI and it's not perfect, but it's definitely easier than one by one doing that 2000 times. So let's see, what do we got here? We can search the data. So I'm going to search for COVID-19 and go through a few of those and tag that COVID. And uh, the key here is like, yeah, it'll figure out the word COVID, but what are the other things around that that are trained in the AI model? So it'll probably note, uh, note that uh, crisis or even CVS, things like that, because that's a, an approved testing provider. Uh, go along with that. So even if it didn't said co, even if it didn't say COVID nineteen and it said CVS Health, it should pick that up after a while of me tagging a few of these. So I'm gonna tag, um, hopefully enough to get some understanding of the context in there, and the model can learn. This is a little easier since obviously anything with COVID is gonna be COVID related. Uh, so I'm going to add, let's do the CVS one. Uh, and I'm going to do that. Skip. That's a humpback whale that's outdoors. <laughs> uh, 3,600 feet of views. I'm going to guess that's outdoors as well. Uh, let's see. Let's do that reef one. Outdoors, that's not COVID. <laughs> Needs a little more training. Um, let's do shark. Snorkeling outdoors. Oh, food. That would have been a good one to add. Let's add food as well. Uh, there. Oh, there's the extra name. So little culinary delights of the Hawaiian Islands. So we're going to uncheck that, do food. And awesome. Let's try pineapple. Add that to food. Add that to food. Trail outdoors, so I've got that one. Uh, hiking on Haleakala, the dormant volcano that's outdoors. And let's do waterfalls. Some weird capitalization. Outdoors, 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 outdoors. Okay, so cool. So now we can name the model. So we're going to do this. Uh, called Hawaii Travel. So it gives you the option to keep training it, which we're going to do, or you can test it and see if it'll make the classifications. I am not confident that it totally knows what to do yet, so I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, and 
let's see if we can find something else. So let's search for tests. Yeah, that's going to be COVID. Cool. Um, all right. How about scuba? We're going to call that outdoors. I'm going to call that one outdoors. Uh, let's see. I bet I can get history by searching century. Yep, Lahaina was once the capital of the Hawaiian Kingdom. That is not outdoors, that is history. I'm going to confirm that. That's history as well. And that's COVID. Sunset, I'm going to go with outdoors. And that's COVID. History. Skip. Outdoors to dining. Well, that's both. So that's food and outdoors. So there you go. Uh, yes, Kauai is the only place in the U.S. with commercial cacao production and coffee. I had a friend just roast some. Uh, herself, and so that is food for sure. Uh, the Big Island of Hawaii also has vanilla, uh, which is super rare. It's an amazing orchid. Uh, Hawaiian Slack Key Guitar Festival, so that's awesome. They're also doing that online uh, for the holidays as well. Uh, so that's more of like cultural than history or anything else. So um, I could put either music or cultural. You don't have to create too many of these, um, but enough that you think will be helpful. So I'm going to mark that cultural and confirm. Nightly torch lighting, that I'm going to call cultural as well. That's really cool, especially on Black Rock on Maui, on Kanapali. And that, so let's skip that one. <laughs> and go. So, all right, let's call that outdoors also. Cool. So now we've got a substantial number of tags there. So... It's telling you how to use the model and how that works. So we've got a lot of that stuff. So awesome. All right. So now that you have a model trained, you have uh, this section here on uh, monkey learn and it'll go through learning and it'll fill that blue bar up as it has uh, learned and processed the tags that you uh, inputted there so now we're on the demo section and we have an ability to test with our own text so i didn't tag anything with uh, the words paragliding and so i just actually tested that so i want to go paragliding say that was the uh, tweets, it actually is pretty confident that that's the outdoors, even though that wasn't a term that I tagged on there. So uh, I would like to horseback ride and see if that... Oh, <laughs> so I ran out of monthly queries. So that's great. Hilarious. But <laughs> that's something you can try and see how accurate it is and how confident it is in the different tweets. So that's just for fun. What we want to do is go to this batch section here. And because you may have more than 300 tweets, which is the maximum of uh, the queries that Monkey Learn is going to let you use on the free plan, open up your Excel file again in, in Excel, uh, not here, and then uh, save as a new file, whatever those tweets are, uh, tweets Hawaii for me, 300. And then I would say delete uh, anything below like 295 tweets. So 295 will be plenty to get sort of a feel for all the trends and everything going down there. So keep your original with all the tweets and then save this one as like tweets 300. And then we're going to import that. So you're going to process the file using the model. And uh, you can open up that file. So pick tweets 300 and let that run. Uh, I just did so it may have stopped me. But it'll do the same thing we did before with discard first row and use this column. 
Uh, so that's kind of how we trained it before, but now you're running it on everything. You're not just, you know, one at a time choosing 20 or 30 things to train it. This is the real deal. You're going to do all 300, uh, or if you paid 299 for the pro plan, you can do all 3000. Uh, and if you want to buy me an account that I can do that too, that'd be great. But so it'll then say processed batch and you can open up to see what monkey learn delivered for our classifications on our nearly 300 tweets to see what happened. So similar to that sentiment score we ran in WayScript, which is still here because it was the same file. We now have two new columns at the end. We have the classification and the competence level. So you could choose to exclude things that were under a certain competence level if you want to be sure that it is uh, one or the other. There are a lot of COVID. There's some outdoors. Oh, I see us food and uh, history and uh, yeah, a lot of outdoors. So good. It's not all COVID. So maybe someone wants to get out there and, and go on a hike as well. Uh, and got even one with uh, multiple as well. So there you go. Now you have 300 tweets classified a lot faster than you could do that individually. Uh, and that's a lot of fun. So Monkey Learn is one way to classify everything in a new and fast way. You could do it old school in Excel, but this is pretty fun. So give this a go.